Hello student, myself Jamin Patel from Electrical Engineering Department. Today we learn the subject electrical power generation and the topic is nuclear power plant. Let's see the content. First one about nuclear power plant, second energy conversion in nuclear power plant, third site selection of nuclear power plant and fourth working of nuclear power plant. Now let's discuss about the nuclear power plant. In India, 1.83 percentage of total power is generated by nuclear power plants. A generating station in which nuclear energy is converted into electrical energy is known as nuclear power plant. In nuclear power plant, heavy elements such as uranium and thorium are subjected to nuclear fusion in a special apart known as a nuclear reactor. The most important feature of nuclear power plant is that huge amount of electrical energy can be produced from a relatively small amount of nuclear fuel as compared to other conventional type of power plant. Now let's discuss about the energy conversion in nuclear power plant. So in nuclear power plant, the fusion of nuclear fuel is made in nuclear reactor. So the nuclear energy of nuclear fuel is converted into the heat energy and water is converted into the steam with the help of heat exchanger. Heat energy is converted into mechanical energy by the steam turbine and alternator coupled to the turbine converts mechanical energy to the electrical energy. Thus the chemical energy of nuclear fuel is converted into heat energy and the heat energy is converted into the mechanical energy and mechanical energy is converted to the electrical energy. So this is about the energy conversion in nuclear power plant. Let's discuss the site selection of nuclear power plant. First one availability of water. So sufficient supply of neutral water is obvious for generating steam and the cooling purpose in the nuclear power plant. Second disposal of waste. So the waste of nuclear power plant are radioactive and may cause the severe health hazards. Because of this special care has to be taken during the disposal of waste of nuclear power plant. So the wastes must be buried in the sufficient deep from the earth level or there must be uh, disposed of in the sea quite away from the seashore. Third one distance from the populated area. As there is always probability of radioactivity, it is always preferable to locate a nuclear power plant sufficiently away from the populated area. Fourth one, transportation facilities. So during commissioning period, heavy equipments to be erected, which is to be transported from the manufacturer site. So good railways and roadways are available are required. Fifth one, skilled person requirement. So for availability of skilled manpower to run and handle the plant also good public transport should be also present at the site. Sixth one near to the load center as we know that generating stations are far away from the thickly populated area. So to reduce a transmission and distribution losses the plant should be near to the load center. Seventh storage of nuclear materials. So the nuclear materials are radioactive which are dangerous to health. To overcome this drawback, a separate arrangement provided for the storage of material. Eight, geographical conditions. So the radioactive material are very dangerous to the human health and all living organism. If due to earthquake chances occurs to the blast of the reactor, to avoid this, the area should be free from the earthquake. Let's discuss about the working of nuclear power plants. So the schematic arrangement of nuclear power plant is shown in figure. So in nuclear power plant heat is produced in the nuclear reactor and is absorbed by the coolant and the coolant becomes hot. This hot coolant is passed through the heat exchanger. Through the heat exchanger water is circulated. Due to the indirect contact between the coolant and the water, the water absorbs the heat of coolant and water is converted into the steam. Steam produced in the heat exchanger is passed through the turbine which converts the heat energy into mechanical energy. Alternator coupled to the turbine converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Voltage generated by the alternator is stepped up 
to the required value by the step of transformer and transformer is connected to the bus bar through the isolators and the circuit breakers. Power is transmitted by the transmission lines connected to the bus bars. Exciter is coupled to the alternator which generates DC supply necessary for the field winding of the alternator. Now steam coming out of the turbine is taken to the surface condenser. Cooling water is passed through the tubes of the condenser. So the steam is condensed and convert into the water. This water is taken out by the condensed extension pump and is fed to the feed pump. Make up water is taken either from the river or from the well and after making it clean in the water treatment plant, it is sent to the exchanger by the feed pump. Water necessary for the cooling in the condenser is taken from the river or well with the help of pump. When there is a sufficient water in the river throughout the year, the hot water coming out of the condenser is discharged into the river and making it cool by allowing to flow through the canal. When the water in the river is not sufficient, cooling towers are used. Hot water is cooled in the cooling tower and cold water is again circulated through the condenser. In such case only the makeup water is taken from the river or well. So this is about the working of nuclear power plant. Let's see the assignment question. First one, explain energy conversion of nuclear power plant. Second, write about the site selection of nuclear power plant. Third one, explain the working of nuclear power plant with diagram. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please, please, please subscribe and like our YouTube channel LJPEC-ELE and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get latest video update first.